Hello. Uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, linear motion in one-dimensional experiments. Uh, let me introduce uh, the purpose of the experiment. Uh, first, the purpose of the experiment is to learn the linear motion under constant velocity, then to learn how graphing and analyzing the movement with measured location and time data. Uh, let me introduce uh, some of the equipments for the experiments. Uh, first, uh, here our air blower, uh, compressed air blower. Uh, it is used for compressing air uh, to be able to move the car uh, without any friction. Then uh, here is the air rail uh, for the car slide. Uh, and this aerial is adjustable, has an adjustable legs in from three points. Uh, and our guides and sensors uh, called photo gates. Then uh, the test interface uh, here we have, as you see. Uh, we are going to receive data from this uh, LCD screen. Then uh, it is used for timing, uh, getting time data, and here the connection cables for power supply. Then uh, let me explain the experiment about how we do it. First of all, we open the air compressed air block. Then uh, we gave an initial uh, like this. Uh, we give an initial uh, force uh, for car to move. Then uh, we will start the. We are we are going to select our uh, experimental name, which is aerial testing. And uh, here you see uh, the experimental data is expecting now, waiting for the experimental data. Uh, here. Now the screen is started and as you see I give an initial velocity to the car and uh, it should be slight uh, without any slowing or uh, speeding up because uh, we are investigating the linear motion. Could you open up some more? Then I will reset the system again. Uh, again, I give an initial starting velocity and photogate received the data. Now, uh, you see uh, the car, first of all, uh, I should say that the car has a uh, 17 centimeters in length and you see the first uh, passage from the uh, first sensor, uh, the, the time of the passage from the sensor you see uh, 0 0.8584. Then uh, from the second sensor or photogate we say, again you see the uh, time again almost close to each other. Then the time between the first tip of the car and uh, the time from time between the first and the second sensor uh, time you see in the T2 at, um, at 0 0.8191. Now uh, we are you we will use this data uh, to be able to uh, generate a table uh, refer displacement and time. Then uh, we will measure the velocity from this table and we will locate the time and displacement at this uh, below time. Here let me introduce the uh, data set uh, from the screen. Now you see uh, labeled with T1 uh, corresponds the time uh, between the first tip and the second tip of the car uh, labeled with T1 uh, and T2 which is in the third line T2 refers uh, again the same uh, the time between the first tip 
and the second tip from the second sensor and uh, T1 uh, in the second line you see is the time uh, time between the two sensors the car passage we say now uh, we need to uh, we need to do this experiment for three times now I'm going to uh, I'm going to do this experiment for second time. Let me start the compressor first. Ah, uh, by the way, the distance between two sensors is seven, 17 centimeters for the first experiment. Now, uh, in the second experiment, I will change the distance between the sensors. We say... Uh, 75 uh, the, distance, the distance between the sensor is uh, 25 centimeters for second trial first we reset the timer then locate to the initial point the car I'm giving the first initial force. Now you see the time data from the timer. Again, I will change the distance uh, between the sensors and I pull the third sensor to the 19 centimeters. Now uh, the distance between two sensors is 30 centimeters. And I will again reset the timer. Oh. Okay. I'm I'm starting the third experiment now. And this